early on, a baby handles stimulation best in small doses and at times when she is well rested and fed. But sometimes, without warning, your baby's tolerance of excitement reaches its limit and she cries just to let off steam. When she cries, I, she wants to talk to us. In other words, she's telling us something, which is we respond to her and see if it was the bottle or she was wet or she wants our arms. She wants to feel more my mustache or mommy's love. Babies often cry because they want to be held. Newborns thrive on close contact with their parents. While it may not have been your grandmother's advice, most researchers now agree that no amount of cuddling will spoil a baby. What a sad face. A complicated and controversial topic for new parents and medical experts alike is infant colic. Colic itself is not an illness. Rather, it is a collection of symptoms with unknown causes. The most common symptoms are predictable daily bouts of extended crying occurring most often in the early evening, indications of real physical distress, such as a red face, tightly shut eyes, and clenched fists, legs pulled up tightly toward the chest that may be indicating stomach cramps. During the first couple of months, you could set your clock by Stephen. He'd start crying exactly at five and end exactly at eight. Pam and I, of course, had heard all the horror stories about colic, and every day at five, we'd look at each other and say, could this be happening to us? If you think your baby has colic, avoid overhandling him, and when the day's screaming session begins, keep him close to you in a front carrier and go about your business as best you can. Try to keep his environment as quiet and peaceful as possible, and as always, consult your doctor. Most experts agree that while colic may be difficult to live with, it does not represent a threat to a baby's well-being. And the problem is temporary. Almost all cases of colic disappear by the time a baby turns three months old. That's great. Yeah, you feel better? You stop crying. Whether your baby has colic or not, there will be days when it seems you try everything you know to comfort him and nothing works. Here are a few more tips for days like those. Rocking can be especially comforting to your baby. If it doesn't seem to be working, try changing the tempo. Okay, you ready? Other persistent oh, rhythmical good. motions may calm your baby too. Try a wind-up swing if you have one. The motion of a ride in the car may work equally well. You might also try playing some music and dancing with her. The combination of motion and sound may calm her down. In fact, many babies respond well to sound. A recording of mother's heartbeat, singing, or certain kinds of music can be comforting. Sucking a pacifier, thumb, or an entire fist may calm your baby. If she doesn't raise her hand to her mouth on her own, you can help her to find her finger or thumb. <laughs>